In this painting adventure in my sketchbook, I want to use um, a wide variety of um, methods and techniques to build up an interesting surface. So I'm starting with just um, palette knifing on some cadmium red, and I haven't mixed this, this is straight out of the tube, pure saturated colour. But this colour is definitely desaturated, it's mixed with um, a lots of white, a bit of blue, a bit of yellow, a bit of red. Um, so I've got this sort of cool uh, greeny bluey grey and um, I've mixed that because I think it will go well with the red. It'll make that red pop. So that goes on and then I'm combing it to get some nice textural marks and coming in with a slightly darker purply desaturated colour. Now I want to add some surprises, so I'm going to uh, put some collage in, and I'm just grabbing a whole bunch of uh, little bits and bits of paper that are sort of lying around, and um, I'm just gluing these in with some uh, gloss medium, and making sure while I do it that I also seal the surface of the um, bits of collage so that they uh, have the gloss medium over the top of them as well as using it as a glue. Once that's done and all dry, I've made up some little frisket um, masking shapes. Now this is a clear sticky film and um, I can cut out the shapes that I want, peel off the back, stick them down and then, I, then they peel off very easily and you can reuse them actually so they're quite fun to use. And they just, they used it, I can use them as a masking tool on parts that I want to keep. Then over the top of that, because I've got a lot of red, I'm going for a green, but I'm going for a sort of a lighter green, and also um, it's it's I've made it sort of desaturated as well. I've made it a grey green, so that it's not going to fight with the red. And now using my thin colour shaper, I'm just sort of carving out some marks here, just playing around and seeing what sort of um, marks I can get. Then coming in with some pencil once all that is dry, and drawing in here. Now I don't want this. I don't want this to be subtle, so I'm using a green on green, and uh, just just playing, just seeing what I get, just making marks and drawing. And uh, these will just be interesting little details that some of them will get painted over, some of them won't, but they're just fun, and. I haven't got any linear work so far, so that's why I do that. Now I'm coming in with some ink, and this um, gives um, some intense colour. It also, um, I can spread it around and it can be used, it creates a transparency as well, so like a glaze, and it, that just deepens the, the colour palette here. Now I'm peeling off these frisket shapes, if I can find them. They get a bit lost underneath the paint, but I kind of know where they are, so I peel those off and they're revealing those nice bits underneath. And that's a bit that I particularly like. Okay, mixing up a really light colour, I'm now going to find some shapes and start to think about the design and the composition of this little painting. So I'm looking for some nice sharp edges, defining some shapes. Um, and uh, carving out these, these shapes in here. And now I'm coming in with a dark red. And with this I sort of want to create some soft areas. I want sharp edges and I want soft edges. And so bringing in that um, dark colour I can mix it with the white and create those soft areas. Now I'm just adding little details, extending shapes outside of the original green shape and making this dark colour, um, sort of spreading it around the composition so that it, it has, it features as sort of a strong element in the composition. Now I'm going to add some drawing and I'm doing this with a pastel and now I'm using these paint pens and this is just adding detail I'm drawing into here sort of dark on dark um, 
in some parts I want it to be more dominant, other parts it's just sort of detail that you'd see coming in close. So adding sort of little bits of complexity and then pushing them back and that just adds to the texture and the depth of mark making in this um, composition. Now just coming in and sort of bringing in more of this more line here with the green pencil and the softness and there we are that's the end of the um, exercise so that was fun <laughs>